G'day guys, Jim from Pneumatic Customs here. Um, just want to talk to you today about camber. So, um, I'm going to use Paul's truck as an example because it's here and it's the reason why I'm actually talking to you now about it. <laughs> so, that's Paul's Ranger. Paul's Ranger came in because he wanted a set of drop spindles fitted to it. Now, when Paul was driving down low, or you know, when he was laid out, his truck would get 15 degrees of negative camber. So when he was driving low, he was wearing through tires pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, he wanted a set of drop spindles put into it um which he he supplied the spindles and the ball joints but yeah it's uh mazda drop spindles mazda s10 bottom ball joint gets pressed in um yeah and then his camber has gone from negative 15 degrees to negative 7.5 degrees so it's hard now his truck was set up to lay 22s. He doesn't have 22s, but he's got a stocky that has a tire big enough that it's got the same overall rolling diameter of a 22, right? So his truck was all set up to lay 22s without a spindle. Now we've put a drop spindle in, which has affected his airbag placement. So in other words, it's going to need a rebag because he's lost travel in his airbag. So currently now, in, with a 20-inch wheel on the front, at full lift, it only just untucks, which, you know, isn't very good. Also, by adding the spindle, I should also mention that to help it lay on um, 22s, they pie cut his upper arms. So now with the spindle in there, when his truck travels through its uh, range of motion, his truck actually goes from negative seven and a half degrees to positive plus one degree. So in, with positive camber, you, you don't want positive camber. It, uh, in hindsight, like what happens with positive camber is the vehicle is very unstable on the road. Um, and I went out and test drove it to prove it, to make sure I was correct in what I wanted to achieve with this video. That, yeah, when you have positive camber, everyone talks about, you know, oh, my vehicle pulls to the left or pulls to the right or whatever. That's, you know generally tow in or tow out but what I found with positive camber is that the vehicle is yeah it's very unstable like you might just move the steering wheel slightly and it boom, wants to pull over that side of the road or you move the steering wheel slightly the other way and boom, it wants to pull over the other side of the road so it's just the steering wheel is very yeah like it the vehicle is just not stable with positive camber um so to correct this um i've asked paul to get a set of standard uppers because the actual upper arm since they pie cut it when it lifts up the actual arm itself hits a spindle so we're going to put a set of standard uppers back in it and we're going to redo all the suspension again from stock we're going to redo it all um get all these geometry right and everything like that so, and then, yeah, once all that's done, we'll take it down, get a wheel alignment, and we'll go from there. And I guess if it's still going to end up with some positive camber, I'll just make some tube arms just to bring it in that tad, that tad little bit, just because you don't want positive camber. Anyway, yeah, if this helps anyone, 
whatever, just my own personal experience. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Ha, ha, ha.